Well, good morning, YouTube. It might be a little bit dark to be doing this video this morning. I wonder if the sun is hitting that camera. The sun hitting that camera. Well, as you can see, this next episode hasn't been the easiest one to put together, that's for sure. Based on the weather, it made it a little difficult to get the video footage we wanted to, so I'm not sure if this video is gonna be a combination of all four or five takes that I've done, or just uh, one of them. So we'll have to see how that goes. But uh, we're gonna keep this one short just to kinda get it done, because we've had some struggles doing that. In this episode nine, you're probably wondering what happened to episode seven. Well, last week when I posted our episode eight, I realized that the one before that was episode six, and realized that episode seven is still sitting on my computer at home. It was one I had done in the summer when we were sea doing. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw the drone sea do shots that we took. I actually did some video footage as well and uh, turned out not too bad, but the video itself was kind of, I don't know, I think it was kind of long-winded, wasn't really feeling myself on the camera there, so I abandoned it during the summer and never got back to it. And when I posted last week, episode eight, realized that, hey, it's actually episode seven. So this one's kind of episode nine, kind of episode eight, but we'll keep it at episode nine and just roll from there. Who knows, maybe episode seven will become one of those episodes, you know, that comes out after I'm long gone and be footage that nobody's ever seen before, make me famous or something. So in this episode, we're gonna show you that seven shot sequence we shot a couple weekends ago, following Becky and Chris's little seven shot recipe. So it's not really seven shot sequence, may not just be seven shots, but it's a recipe for taking seven different kinds of shots to put a video together. I was impressed with it and shared it with my students and thought, well, we're gonna give it a shot as well. So we did some footage inside a parking garage of the truck, me driving through the parking garage and parking. Turned out pretty neat. We got some really cool footage, some kind of neat shots going into it, but we realized as we were putting it together, both Jamie and I decided that we, I think we were kind of missing the end footage, that idea of a story, beginning, middle, and end, and it just didn't quite work out. So I feel like the beginning was strong. Maybe I'll stop talking and show it to you. So here it is. Here's my seven shot sequence inspired by Becky and Chris. Take a look. Well, there you have it. I don't know if you saw what I saw, but definitely the ending is a little weaker than the beginning. Maybe a lot weaker. Really pleased with the beginning. Had some fun doing some title stuff and some keyframing and just kind of making the titles fit the video. Really like the under the carriage shot of the truck. Probably the most stressful video shot I've done, aside from having the drone out on above the water. I came around the corner of that parking garage and thought for sure I was gonna run over the camera, not knowing where it was going to be but made it and made it by the back tire there. So fun stuff there. But we had fun doing it and that was the main thing. We were able to inspire ourselves to kind of get back into video. Definitely important to have a plan. We kind of had a plan, but not a real hard and fast plan. And we kind of ran out of time. Video takes longer than what you think. And when you start doing two and three takes of the same shot and you're waiting for cars to not you know, interrupt your shot in the parking garage, it can get a little difficult. That's what we've got for this week. End of the week on Friday with the annual wrestling tournament over at Monsignor Doyle. The first wrestling tournament always starts the season off at our school. Always a big to-do because the first time they get on the mats. I had 220 wrestlers there from 11 different schools in the Waterloo region, so a fantastic day that was. It ended up being early when I went in because I had a chiropractor appointment, late when I got home, so it was still dark then and then tried it again doing some filming yesterday, but the sun was hitting the camera right in the face and that's where we're getting all those sunspots. But they did look kind of cool. I thought about using that full video, but we'll see which one actually got posted to YouTube here, because this is like take number six. So hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the seven shot sequence. Hope you had a good week. 
And this is Greg Sinti saying, see ya, enjoy the week coming up. And we'll see you next week because it's going to be one video per week. That's the plan, a video per week. Let's do this. Thanks a lot, people. Hope you enjoyed the ride. And we'll talk to you again.